with Montel Griffin and Chicago, the, the place that you know very well. But let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, Darius Mihalczewski and, uh, and the fights. And what do you think about today's state of boxing compared to the, what it was when you guys were fighting? Well, uh, I think when I when I was fighting, it was more superstars who was fighting. It was better fighters, Pernell Whitaker, James Tony. They was all in their primes, and um, it was better. I mean, you got uh, Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest fighters in history, Manny Pacquiao. But after that, we need Canelo and all these guys to step up. And you know I'm saying, I think boxing in good hands right now, though. A lot of a lot of new good up and comers that's coming up. There was a lot of controversy, and there are still people talking about you fight with, with Darius Mihalczewski, and then you just told me, and uh, one of the reasons we're talking right now is that is the quote you got from from Roy. But let's go back uh, a little bit back to the to the Mihalczewski fight. Uh, what do you remember about this fight? I remember they, you know, he got a gift. Uh, uh, American referee Joe Cortez took took some money and stopped the fight early. So, so I wouldn't so, win. So, so you are, you are it's not a, it's not, it's not a, it's not a doubt in my mind. It's, it's not a doubt in my mind. A, a, a American referee Joe Cortez stabbed me in the back. Uh, I was winning on all scorecards. The fight was easy, and um, the man threw a combination after the bell. They stopped the fight. So that's part of boxing. I saw Roy Jones uh, not too long after the fight. Actually, saw was Roy Jones and James Tony. They told me about they they sorry what happened and everything. Roy said after watching your fight, that's one of the reasons why I won't go over there and fight him. Which I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? Roy, I didn't have the name and the, the fame that Roy had, so I went over there just to try to do something else because I couldn't get the rematch with Roy. So, but things didn't work out. But you know, it's part of the game. Uh, a couple of months ago, after Oliver McCall came back from Poland, uh, I called you and uh, uh, through the Doc Nicholson here, kind of entertaining the idea of you fighting again. Uh, give me today. Oh, I mean, right I'm now, not I, today, but, uh, I mean, I, I'm staying in decent shape. Yeah, I run, I, I train every day. Uh, I'll never fight like heavyweight again, but maybe a cruiserweight. But uh, it had to be good. It had to be worth it. You know what I'm you saying? Know <laughs> is, is he still fighting? I mean, he ain't fought. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's put it out there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I catch him off guard. I love to fight him. If he ain't fought in five years, or anybody fought five years or more, I'll fight him. He's, he in, didn't uh, fought for months. the last five years. So, I mean, okay. you guys were on the, on the same level. Yeah. Assuming that nobody is going to pay off the, the referee. Right, right. right. No, <laughs> as, long as, as long as no referee is getting paid off this time, then we can do it. Okay, so so let's make it Montreal between uh, Darius Minalczewski 2. Yeah. And, and towards the mile. I want to fight them back to back. I told him I got a gift too in the Olympics. I cut his eye open, they wouldn't stop the fight. He got a gift. Because Chelsea got a gift, so I got to come to Germany and clean up. Okay, so, so guys, uh, the old school is coming back. Thank you, Montel. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, my man. Thank